Start on open G, okay? Play after me. So. You play it. Do your best. We're gonna go from open D. You play it. On open D. Just do your best. That's a G. And uh, just let me know if there's any sound issues. Open D. You play it. Watch this open D with me. Down, up, down, up. You do it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Stay light. If you're on the cello, then you're going to be about in the middle of the bow. Open D. And see if you can get a little sway going in your body. Go you know, left to right, right to left. If you're on the violin, you're going to be at the tip of the bow. G string. Now watch this. What, watch what I'm gonna do. You do it. Keep that sway going if you can. Shake it out. Now watch this one. You do it with me. Shake it out. Now watch this one. You do it. Shake it out. You play it. You play it. Watch my bow. You do it. Watch my bow. You do it. Play this with me. Go ahead. Now change your bow. Playing this phrase, but change your bowing however you want. Shake it out. You play it. This will be the G on the D string for cellist. You play. Starting on G. 
That's a tricky one. All right, shake it out for a second. Real quick, I just want to take the temperature of the room. How's everybody feel? Is it too hard, too easy, too boring, too exciting? What do you think, Miss Cunha? How we doing? It's hard for me to see all the expressions of the kids over the Zoom. So I'm, I, and plus my eyes are a little not that great. So, uh, so wait, wait, let me see. Let me look closer. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm going to squint into the thing. Am I seeing thumbs up? Is that what's happening? Okay, good. Okay, Mister. Okay, good. So we're about the right level. It's not too slow or too too easy. I'm going to tell you if somebody if there's somebody who's really advanced in the class and you're like this is too easy for me, I'm going to give you a suggest a couple suggestions how you can make it challenging for yourself. All right, just in case, just in case there's somebody out there that's like this is too easy for me. What I want you to do is play it all on one string. So if I play a line like this, we'll play it on one string. Shift. Another thing you can do to make it more challenging is you can play the lines up an octave. So if I play this line, then you can play it here, right? Another thing is everything I give you is a suggestion. So you could be like, this is too easy for me, so I'm gonna do. So you can do that if you want, right? So nobody should feel like it's too easy, all right? I, want, I just wanna make sure that's clear. But if it's too hard, also you can play something simpler. You can go back to, um, you can go back to there if you want, all right? So let me see what else we got here. All right, this is a different loop. Now we're gonna be in the key of D major, D major sharps right f sharp c sharp so um i'm starting on open d I mean, it's gonna be tricky you play open d you play on b Okay, if you don't get it. Open D. Just do your best. Let's try something I want you to sing while you play. So open A. Play the note. Try to find it with your voice. Now, once you find it with your voice, we're going to know two notes like this. You try it. Like this. I just shake it out for a second. Eventually, you can sing lines.
eventually you can get it where your voice and your and your cello or your voice and your violin is one. And it starts with what we just did though. You just sing one note, that's it. And then two. And then maybe we'll do a scale. Let's try to sing just like a scale line, like like this. Check this out, I'll play it for you once. Do, 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 do. With me, here we go. Check it out on F sharp after me. You play it. F sharp. You play it. F sharp. Ah, sorry, that was my bad. Short ones again. You play it. On that starting note. What was it? I'll give it to you again. You figure it out. One more chance. Now watch this. Watch this. Going up for the E. I know you might not have played that E before. That's all right. We're going to do it today with me. Reach for it. E. <laughs> we keep this line going, but you're going to change your bow. Improvise your bow. Here's that E. Just reach for it. Doesn't matter if you get it or not. Sometimes we have to reach for things. In life, we got to reach. We got to leap. What you want with your bow? All right, after me. All right, check this out. Check this out. Now we're going to get really cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you play any note in D major. Any note in D major. Let's just try it. You ready? Everybody's clear on your notes in D major, right? So what I mean is A, B, C, D, E, F, G when F or C are sharp, right? Let's say that together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G when F or C are sharp. Let's say that together. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G when F or C are sharp. There you go. That's D major. What that means is you can play A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the way down on your cello. You can play that C, right? But C's sharp. So you can play that. 
play a C sharp, low C sharp, the lowest C sharp you've got. That is in the D major scale, right? <clears throat> now play, uh, um, so you can play that D major scale starting all the way down there on that low C sharp. See if you can just play around with that, that D major scale starting on that low C sharp. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when F and C are sharp. Go ahead, just play around. Just find some notes in that D major scale. <clears throat> now, what I want you to do is everybody pick a note, pick one note, pick one note, don't play it. And I'm going to give you a cue like this, and I want everybody to play it all together. Just that one note. You're just going to hold it, and I'm going to cut you off. Are you ready? You got your note in your mind? Ready? And play it. And release. All right, now stop. Now I want you to pick another note in your mind. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when C and F are sharp. You got your note in your mind? Now everybody's going to play the note, their note, when I cue you. You ready? And play. Hold it. Hold it. Let it go. We're going to do that one more time. Pick a different note. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We're going to hear what that sounds like when everybody plays together. Start the note together. and the note together with me. Ready? And play. Hold it, let go. Now we're gonna do the same thing over the loop. I'm gonna cue you, you play your note, and then you let go. You ready? So you pick a note in D major, and you just hold that note. Don't worry about what it is. Ready, here we go. You're gonna play now. Uh, hold it, let it go. Do the same thing. Pick another note in D major. Here we go. Ready? And play. Uh. Hold it. Let it go. Another note in D major. Here we go. Ready? And play it. Let it go. Now we're going to go from note to note, note to note. I'm just going to cue notes. Here we go. Ready? And play. Hold that note. Now find another note, and we're going to pick it now and play that next note. Any note in D major. Again, a different note. Uh, any note in D major. If it sounds weird to you, don't worry about it. Another note and play. We're going to twice as fast now. Play note. A new note. Play it. A new note. Play it. Uh, another note and play. Think ahead. What's your next note? What's your next note? Play. A new note. 